Hi, my name is Lee from usbkill.com and I do have a French accent. Today we are testing the Note 8 and we are going to check if uh, the new Samsung device is affected by a USB power surge attack. So today it's the USB Kill V3 versus the Samsung Note 8. I hope you will enjoy this video and uh, as you can see I am unpacking the Samsung Note 8. So maybe we will uh, go a little bit faster because this, well, it's not the most interesting part of this video. So now that we're done with the Note 8, we are going to do exactly the same with the USB Killer Pro Kit V3 standard. And we are going to well, check what is in the box. You will see the USB kill with the three adapters, lightning adapter, USB-C adapter that we are going to use today, and the mini USB adapter. And also, in a box, you will find the USB kill tester, and it's the first thing that we are going to use. I'm going to mount it very fast, and not really mount it completely, but just uh, what we need for this uh, test. So I'm unpacking and we will just take the tester and the wires to verify that there is electricity. So I will plug the wire, that's it, and we're good to go. So I'm checking on my uh, new Note 8. As you can see, it's working perfectly. And uh, we will verify that it's uh, ready, a Note 8. So let's check that. As you can see, it is a Note 8. So, let's go. Let's get our USB kill V3. So you can see the adapter, USB C adapter, and our USB killer. Let's put that aside and let's take our USB kill V3 standard edition and let's test to see if there is electricity coming from the USB port. So as you can see I'm gonna use the USB-C adapter from the Samsung Note 8 pack. I'm gonna plug my tester like that. Okay. And we're going to check. I'm gonna plug my V3 and let's test to see if it's parking. Yeah, nice. So let's check with the other adapter, the adapter from the USB kill Pro Kit. And let's do exactly the same thing. Is it sparking? Perfect. So now let's do the real test. Let's plug V3 in the adapter, the USB C adapter. And let's test. The resistance of the Note 8. Little uh, sound. So 
there was a little uh, bit of electricity going inside the port. Let's verify. Let's check with the other adapter to see if we can have exactly the same result. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. So the phone seems to resist for the moment. Let's check after if uh, we can still charge our phone and if the data port uh, is still working. So we will have to plug the phone inside the computer to verify if it's working. So we are going to plug the Note 8. For that I use the charger, the Note 8 charger and the cable. So let me plug the charger. Okay, and now let me test and let's see if there is electricity. Yeah, perfect. Well, so it seems that the phone is still charging correctly. Mm, well, I heard the sound that it was charging. So, yeah, well, let's plug it again. Seems to charge. So now that uh, what we need to test is to see if the phone is uh, going to be able to um, work with the data. So uh, let's plug the phone inside the computer and well, let's try to plug uh, a hard drive directly uh, on the USB-C to see what is happening. So first I will plug the hard drive inside the computer, so like that uh, we will see that uh, everything is working correctly. Um, so let's plug... So the hard drive is recognized by uh, Windows. And you will see that it will uh, show up in the computer. That's cool. Oh, everything works perfectly. So now the only thing that we need uh, to do is to plug or not 8 inside our computer. So when you plug the phone inside the uh, uh, computer, you will be able to transfer files from uh, your uh, computer inside the phone and from the phone inside the computer. Um, same the normally on the phone, there will be um, uh, a menu offering uh, what type of transfer you want to do or if you want to just charge the phone. So the phone is charging, but uh, there is no options uh, saying anything about uh, what kind of transfer that we want to do. And nothing is happening on the computer, so there is definitely something going on. So for me, uh, well, the USB kill uh, affected the data ability of the Note 8. So let's try to plug again, just to make sure Yeah, nothing is going on. So, um, so yeah, we can definitely say that uh, the Note 8 is affected by uh, USB power surge attack, even if it's uh, only the data aspect of the phone. So let's do something uh, about that. Let's try with. Uh, I will try to plug my. Uh, hard drive inside the phone. I'm not sure if it's possible actually, but uh, well, yeah, just let's see. So I'm going to use the port, the little adapter from the Note 8 and plug my hard drive. So the hard drive is powered by the Note 8, but uh, once again, no menu, no pop-up of anything. So I'm not sure if the hard drive uh, has to be in a certain uh, format, but uh, yeah, nothing is going on here. So, uh, movies uh, from my uh, hard drive. I'm checking if I can find an option here. Yeah, it's not working. 
So it is clear that the USB data line is affected by the USB kill v3. The Note 8 is unable to communicate via the USB port anymore. So the Note 8 is affected by a USB power surge attack. If you found this video interesting, feel free to like and share this video. And of course, to subscribe to our channel. And we'll have a new test uh, very soon. So keep in touch and uh, see you next time. Take care, guys.